So everybody, Craig Hansen here and welcome to my Tiger Woods video. We're going to check out Tiger's swing over the years and have a look at some of the changes that he's made. There's quite a lot of controversy about uh, which swing was the best swing, whether or not 2000 was the best swing or not. Uh, I'll let you guys make up your mind. Uh, we'll just have a look and see. Perhaps we can learn something from this uh, incredible golfer, this incredible athlete. So. Got his uh, swing here from the other day where he won at the Arnold Palmer Invitational, back to number one in the world, working with Sean Foley the last couple of years. This swing on the right side was uh, taken from um, Terry Rolls. Thanks, Terry, for all your great videos. And uh, this is in in uh, 2000, and uh, he's been playing in Bangkok where he had his great year in, in 2000. So we see in the, in, the, in the address position, the first thing is that the the setup on the left side, we can see that the arms, are, the hands are set lower and the arms are hanging more downwards and closer to the body as what they used to be. And um, we can also see that in the in the address position now that he's bent a long way forwards, he's he's under 50 degrees, which is quite low. You got most guys around the you know the mid 50s uh, back then. He was up, set up a little bit higher, around you know 56, 55, pretty normal back then. So. Let's check out his backswing and we'll have a look at a few of the changes that he's made. Now there is a, a slight lifting of the camera in both videos, so it will have the effect, only a couple of centimetres, it'll lower his head more than he actually does. But when we take it back, we can see that he sets the club up now much uh, on, a, on a steeper plane, the club now pointing slightly inside the ball, whereas uh, back then well, with the, the Harmon style that the club would sort of stay parallel to the original shaft plane and point outside the ball. Now he's tightened the swing up, he's lowered it and when we get up to the top of this one here you can see back then obviously he's built differently now, he's, he's more muscular but we can definitely see that the right arm here has, has lifted more compared to the other side into this position here so it's much lower. Now, if we took the club back a little bit, say to here, we would still have then the same effect. The club is you know, in a similar position there. But look, I think that swing on the left side, I think that's probably that could be the best back swing I've ever seen. The guy is so strong; he just creates some unbelievable numbers, like from his shoulder down into the belt buckle around 27 degrees, and bending more forwards than he did. Obviously, he's going to get some lower numbers, but um, you know, to set yourself up quite that low, it's obviously uh, creates a lot of resistance and it's um, it's harder to turn. So unless you're really, really flexible and amazing core strength, you're not going to be able to create a very good backswing from there. So, But very impressive. He's, he's always had this movement where, let me just pop a line in here on his belt buckle, where, it, where he moves down into the compression downwards and activates that left quadricep and pulls that belt buckle back behind him. You can actually see it here as well. It's just an incredible move where the hips, you can just see the head lowering, he's gripping the ground and the left leg just activating that left quad and moving back. And he's always had that position there. As he, as he comes down into the ball, you don't, you don't really see this. I haven't seen this much before couple of players get similar positions, but that is just an incredible number at 22 degrees. Uh, Dustin, Dustin Johnson gets down there. Lee Trevino had a little bit, but um, very, very impressive to be able to get your body into that position. And you can see now that his behind stays back from this line here. And as he moves into impact, it lands right back down on the original shaft plane. Now it looks like he's set up a little left here so he's probably trying to fade the ball. He hits draws and fades and moves the ball around a lot. But um, definitely improved his his leg work when we see the club come in now. The, the old swing back then uh, over the years he also did that with Haney that the right leg or the right knee here comes out further than it used to be and um, club exiting a long way left these days with his iron shots. Pretty impressive stuff. So we'll have a look at the swing from around the Haney, Haney period. He st stood up quite 
a little bit more upright, changed his grip around to a one knuckle grip and um, still had some great things in this swing though. We'll just pop a line up the top here. So you see that he stood up a bit taller back then, even higher, around 59. They've got a longer iron though. And set, set it up parallel to the original shaft plane, but we can definitely see the the difference in where the club points at the top of the swing over now over this way, which was an attempt to keep the, the club more in front of him. And still had his lowering with his head and hit some great lines coming down, so also great leg work in here. And you know, a harder a harder release back then with a one knuckle grip, but um, still very impressive swing. Which one do you like the most? So when we have a look at this uh, swing on the left here, we just get rid of some of these lines. We start to see the effect. We'll just get Ben Hogan out, and um, that's sort of a look and just compare this a little bit. To, to the great man. Let's get this line right here. So we see as he comes down in the impact. A similar effect that both players have you know, so much room for the right elbow to pass and uh, hip staying out and on both sides and the head lowering so you know I, there's a lot of talk about what Foley's done with his swing but um, yeah you know, it's looking pretty impressive to me so I think he's done a he's done a great job now um, when we sort of get in there and have a look at some of the similar positions that other great players of you know, Lee Trevino, Butama mentioned the best ball flight since Ben Hogan so you can see a similar position so that one there, and um, then we've got Dustin Johnson, who's renowned for his core strength and body strength. And, you know, it's always interesting to have a look at great hitters, how they sometimes get into the similar positions. Uh, so we'll have a look now at, um, at uh, his impact position. We'll just, uh, it's interesting to compare it to um, Rory as, he, as we come down and through the ball here. We'll see one of the for me one of the hallmarks of great ball striking. You see when the left hand the left glove gets under the head that we have uh, like a right angle effect into here. But what what gets interesting is in around impact, where we have the shot forward leaning shaft from both players, and when we get opposite the left leg, we have this what they call a line of compression where the shaft and the left arm is in one line from both players and very similar impact positions at least with these two shots you can see the amount of compression that they've got so it's always uh, always interesting to compare these these top players and when I've got Tiger's swing from 2000 uh, in the British Open when he won that so I'll just get that out and we'll just have a look at sometimes that even though they have golfers have you know different golf swings, some of these you know I call them like the freaks have have similar moves when they come down and in around impact. I'll just pop a line on that right leg there. This is in 2000 when he won the British Open, and just have a look now at in an impact how that right leg. The hips turning really hard. The foot, foot, the right foot's up on its toes, but he'll still manage to then to suck that leg back underneath him like a correction move. And Rory has it as well. I mean, that's not something you can teach, but it's it's just interesting watching these guys get. Uh, you know, I think they could hit it from just about any position, and they come up around at the same sort of. Same sort of follow through, so we've probably got an area of the brain that works the same, these two. But very, very impressive swing. So, you know, which swing do you like the best? <laughs> when we have a look at um, <clears throat> Haney's swing with Tiger Woods here, 
you know, my Haney's, you see the, the, the grip's much weaker than it used to be, and, and you know, Haney's probably caught some flack, but the motion of the swing with Haney was also pretty amazing. I mean, would you take that swing? So whichever one's the best, you know, he's best one of the, probably the best putter ever, or one of the best putters ever, and uh, yeah, is he going to win more majors? If he stays fit, yeah, who knows, he could possibly win another 10. But there's Tiger Woods. Hope you enjoyed it.